You can always start from where you are, using what you have to do. Using what you have and doing what you can. Always, you never know. So Vusi say, money is important when you want to go, but to move from zero to one, you don't need money. You need the skills, you need the talents, you need knowledge, you need experience, you need energy, you need your time. You already have those. It's just what you decide to do with it. You have energy. I've seen guys work, you know, students at IPAM, and I did it myself. I'll go to somebody's house. I had a guy, that guy's coming to, to town. Next weekend, he's coming to town. I became his house help. I cleaned their house, 81 Philip Street, Wellington. I would scrub the floors from front to back every weekend. I launder his clothes, I eye on them. He had a motorbike, NB2195, blue Suzuki bike. I would shine that one, it seems like they just bought it from the manufacturers. Clean it. When it was time for me to go back to school, what he did, he paid my raise. 1,000 leons, my parents couldn't afford 1,000 leons at that point. He paid. So I did what I have, what I could at that point in time, using my time and using my energy. So move from zero to one, you don't need money. And that's where you are now, you are at point zero. Nobody believes you, nobody knows you. No bank can give you money, you are point zero. You have to get to point one before people begin to take notice of you, to prove you can do it, and that's when other people can enter. That's when other people can help. You're talking about partners. That's when partners can come in. That is when people's assets would say, okay, you need this asset. I like your idea. I would loan you the assets. Or I'll become a partner with you. I'll bring the assets into the business. You don't need money to start. You've listed it all. You need knowledge. You need ideas. You need the assets. You need partners. You could get all of this without money. From zero to one, you don't need money. There's this other guy, what's this guy's name? Denzel Washington, he's an actor, American actor. Read what he said, two, three, go, I said it just now, read what he said, go. I was talking about life by design. When we started, I had nothing. God is my witness, I had maybe four or five people who, um, from Josephus Mama of uh, blessed memory at SLBC to George Lewis, um, maybe four or five people. Who I would just take when it's time to shoot, I would sit down and say, shoot, Pastor Air Momo. Um, went to my house, we shot the first. I had nothing at that point in time when we were starting off. I had nothing. I had my ideas. I went to, you know, as I spoke, as I did these things, I have photos of me as a young man. I was playing accordion. This guy who I was helping in the house, the way he got to know me, was by me just playing accordion. I would play musical instrument. I was the best player of the accordion in my church. So he got to like me. And, and he says, okay, come to the house and start helping. So I did the accordion. Accordion moved me to cleaning the house, a privilege. Cleaning the house lead, led to them giving me a room in the house. It was a kitchen room. My wife that I'm now married to used to visit me in the house and we could have actually gotten our first daughter from that bedroom. <laughs> Am I saying anything to anybody? But I'm, I use what I have, my musical skills. It was just music, hey, music, okay. Then somebody got to say, ah, what are you doing? I always had people who say, you they play this thing well, oh. what do they do? I got the opportunity to explain to them. I used what I have, where I was, to get what I needed, to get to where I needed to get to. Does somebody understand what I'm saying today? Yes. Please, you're never not without anything. If we, if we just echo some of the things we have just shared, it's brief. But it's so important. Can you start a business without capital? Yes or no? No, you need capital. It's just that it's not money capital that you need. So that's the question. So the next one we said, when we talk about capital, we talk about money. Is money the only, is money the only capital you need to start a business? And then we listed these other capital that are there. We listed these other capital that are there. And you can use this any day. From just accordion, from just sitting down and no camera, no nothing. I kept at it. Afrisel joined in as a partner. Afrisel said, we like what you're doing. I did, I was doing a lot of work, good work for Afrisel. They said, okay, we'll support you to sponsor the show on television. Somebody employed me at Call to Business, um, the bank. The bank was just um, five full-time staff. ACTB, anybody knows ACTB Bank? The bank was just five full-time staff, um, less than a thousand clients. And we, the office was at the back side of Babadori. Behind there, there was a guy called me and he said, I want you to run this business for us. 
I never run a microfinance business before ever, ever in my life. Like I said, anything you want to learn to get the expertise, you can learn without even having to pay. People knew me, and I said, and I started asking, do you know anybody who don't run microfinance business before? I asked, I asked, I asked. Once I know the four major microfinance business, I got myself introduced to their managing directors. I use my social capital. Then that's another thing um, that is here, is social capital. Who knows you? Who have you done a kind deed do to? Who don't like your business and like what you do? Maybe it's in Manchester United. Maybe it's your Christian friends. It's your Muslim friends. You have social capital. You could, you could leverage all of this from zero to one without money. So step by step, I took the job at Call to Business, and I struggled, I struggled, I struggled, hired staff, you know, build from the beginning till um, I stepped down as a managing director for the business um, two, three years ago. And, um, but having worked to build, hired the right people who had the skills that I did not have, to work, to move up, and it, so, so that it's now a microfinance bank. It's grown bigger than I would have ever imagined than I ever had the capacity to be able to push. Land leadership. But what happened? As I drove this guy ACTB, the guy started getting interest in the things I was interested in. He saw the show on television, he saw what was happening and said, you know, we can help you grow this television business because you already, they became a partner, you're already helping us with the bank, we can help you grow life by design. That's how we got the first set of cameras, we got uh, um, a, a computer and we got all the initial gadgets and that's where we took up. The next input they made was $50,000. More equipment. Now Life by Design is an integrated marketing company. It's an integrated marketing company, industrial scale, printing press, marketing online, offline, audiovisual, branding, websites, um, SME Body Shop. Um, we recently had a partnership um, um, signed with Inky Media, which has just doubled and multiplied our capacity to be able to deliver. Starting with just using what I have, my big mouth, <laughs> and my knowledge and my experience that I had, tell my stories. It's, uh, it's, it's the, the, the annual revenue is around the range of half a million dollars a year, and we're targeting to do <laughs> two million dollars revenue a year by 31st of July 2022. How do you build this thing that started just as an idea to a two million dollars revenue business by December 2022? We're recording this, and we're going to keep it in the archives. December 2022, we want to raise this business. And, and it will not just be money to do that. There are lots of stuff I have to do there. Through partnerships, through that, through expertise, through skills, through knowledge, blah, blah, blah. Because these are the things that have to come first before the money comes. From zero to one, you don't need money. Now, this is why um, part of training, part of the training stuff, there's a flyer here. Life by design. Skills development fund short courses. 18 to 35 years of age, you must be within this age. We're doing the ultimate entrepreneurship, sales and marketing um, electives, and then customer experience management as elective for six months. Um, it's out now, the closing date for all application is 29th May 2021. End of this month, end of next week, that is when is the closing date. This program is funded by the government of Sierra Leone and the World Bank. Um, and our partners here, so it's a skills development fund. The secretariat is housed in the Ministry of Technical and Higher Education. They are, they are running it uh, on behalf of the government. They, they are the government team that's pushing it. Our partners, AfriCell, AYV uh, Media, and um, RC Bank, Coquel Commercial Bank. Now, so what I want to be able to do is to tell you, if you think you have the fire in your belly, the fire in your belly that uh, <laughs> to change the world, to not be begging for ladies not to be slaves in the hands of men who are only able to push you around because it's either left united and they meet you. If you want to have your destiny in your hands, the best way I know is an entrepreneurial mindset. Not just going into business, but just having the mindset where you can add value, you can grow from zero to one, you know I can get from zero to one. I can use, I can apply what I get, what I have now to get to where I want to get to. 
So please, it's not just those in the class, but those of you in television, on radio, wherever you're watching this, the, the, the Life by Design number to contact is 0306600. A major part of the cause is covered by the government. If you, if you think you have the fire in your belly, apply. 0306600 is the number to call to get further details. The application form is online. The link is there. Um, if you look at the flyers, I think your, your, your lecturer um, shared this flyer, your, your Mr. William Conte shared this flyer. The code is there, enter it online, and the form would appear, and download it. Send your questions, I will know you're serious. Info at lbd.sl, info at lbd.sl, that's the email address. Um, Facebook page, lbd.sl. If you go Facebook, it's um, Facebook, lbd.sl at Facebook. If you go Facebook, it's lbd.sl. And the number is 0306600. 0306600. This is a teaser. Um, this is a teaser. And, and, and as often as um, um, Mr. William Conte wants me, I will, we can make some time so that I can just break some of these things down so that you are helped. People help me, and I want to be able to help as much people as I can. Put your hands together for your, your lecture again for the class. Make it bigger, make it louder for him, make it bigger for him.